Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Locker Gnome is there uh, for you. We're sharing stories and smart solutions. One of the stories we've got for you today is getting ripped off the gas pump and doing something about it. Uh, so take a look at the first paragraph here. I'll just I'll read it to you. It's funny how something as simple as purchasing gas can turn into a challenge when the people you're dealing with are unreasonable. Have you ever had that happen? Drive up to a pump and you know you were going to have to deal with people? Maybe you didn't know? It's exactly the situation that uh, this writer, Ron, found himself in a few weeks ago when he stopped by a local gas station to fill his tank. As he was trying to use his credit card to make a purchase, a voice from the clerk inside advised me that the credit card readers were not functioning and that I would need to use cash to make a gasoline purchase. As I look back on the situation now, I should have taken my business down the street, but at the time, I didn't believe there would be any problems making a simple purchase using cash. So he had problems, and he almost got ripped off, and he did something about it. Uh, you know, I, there have been times. I'll pull up to a pump, and the credit card slot's broken. I'll look around and see any other pumps are open. Nothing's open. I usually will get back in the car and drive to the next gas station or fill up at another point if I can uh, help it. I think the last time I paid cash for gas or paid inside was, God, when gasoline was still under $3 a gallon. Now it's like, what? what is it? It's four sixteen in the Seattle area? It's insane. Uh, I, I like people. I just hate dealing with them sometimes in customer service scenarios if systems are put in place to just work. And when you have to work around the problems, that's where more problems usually crop up. Um, you know, I'm very intent on being self-serve. I like uh, getting things done on my own, even down to ordering things online. Uh, it's, it's when I have to interface with someone that I wouldn't necessarily have to interface. Like, so there are some websites that I go to to schedule an appointment, schedule the appointment, and then they call me. Like, why did you call? Well, that's how we do it. Well, I, I made the appointment online and you confirmed it. Well, yes, but we needed to call the follow-up. You could have, I don't know, emailed? Could you have done that? You had to call me on the phone so that I could talk to you? Why do I want to talk to you? I want to do business with you, but I don't need to talk to you. I already confirmed it, dude. Yeah, man. I, I like people. Just don't necessarily want to deal with them in everything that I do. I can't be alone. And this story tells you a little bit of Ron's nightmare at the pump.